but we can't move on with his story without saying that there is the modern connection to Habakkuk with in World War II, which um, mm. I don't think either of our podcasts would be talking about World War II very much. <laughs> but so we might as well, but maybe we could put this in the title to get more clicks and listens by mm. mentioning World War II. But during World War II, there was a, um, what was the, the, the guy's name was Pike. Yeah, Pike. Pike. I think Jeffrey Pike. He was a, um, I am mad inventor, might be being a little bit too kind to do it. <laughs> but he, heck, this Jeffrey Pike fellow came up with the idea of taking an iceberg made out of a innovative material that he invented called Pike Crete, which was frozen, well, ice frozen with sawdust in it to a certain percentage. And then he said, let's make an aircraft carrier out of this. That was basically the, this aircraft carrier, from what I understand, would have been the entire size, the size of the entire U.S. Navy fleet at that time. Um, yeah, from, what I, from what I understand, too, it was something like two million tons. Yeah. And that's not, that's not a ship. That's a small island. And, and I think for comparison, actually, I think that's the size of, say, um, 20 aircraft carriers. I think a modern US aircraft carrier is about 100,000 tons. So, to, yeah, so that's like the entire carrier fleet of the United States today. Doubled. Yeah. <laughs> In one single floating, that's a, that's a popsicle. That's a, yeah, yeah popsicle. And from what, I, from what I understand, Jeffrey Pike was a particularly unpleasant man. He, he came up with all sorts of wacky ideas, but he was really quite repulsive to deal with from the biography that I read because he thought he was right about absolutely everything. There's a, there's a ton of interesting stories too about this Pike Crete. Oh, yeah. It would, um, apparently if you shoot, I'm not going to go and shoot ice blocks to find this out. Maybe that's <laughs> a, maybe we should do that for YouTube and we'd get a lot of uh, views for that. But apparently regular ice just shatters, but this Pike Crete, whatever the doing and putting the sawdust into it makes it so hard that bullets bounce off of it, which I don't believe somebody didn't test this, but so the 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 story is whether this is apocryphal or not. Jeffrey Pike gives a an, a general or an admiral in the British Army a pistol. He shoots it. This bullet goes <laughs> all over the place, and either it either went through the pants of another general or it actually uh. hit him in the leg. And there's also another story uh. that they did this demonstration again <laughs> <laughs> with the same result. I mean. Yeah. <laughs> So it was, it was amazing stuff. From, from what I gather, it, it works about the same way as modern fiberglass does. So modern fiberglass, from what I understand, is a fairly brittle resin, but it is full of very flexible glass fibers. And the fibers, like the wood, sh the, wood the sawdust in the ice, they stop cracks propagating. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Because cracks can propagate quite quickly in a brittle material. And once they start, they keep going, widening, widening, widening. But if you hit a little tiny fiber perpendicular to the crack, it just it stops. So apparently that's the secret of its, um, well, non-success, because I don't think pycrete was never used successfully. In oh, so that's, um, I think nowadays in concrete, they mix in bits of fiberglass oh, okay. into it. So oh, that's okay. it's got to be the same principle i would imagine yeah. then yeah. or rebar or something i don't know i'm not a construction person no I, I can believe that if they introduce if you introduce this weaker flexible material it can make the whole damn thing stronger huh. but to tie this back to habakkuk mm. Mm. i think you read somewhere that he had an idea of why he named him after habakkuk Yes, it's named after, unfortunately, I didn't note down the reference. It's named after one of the earliest verses. I think it, it's something, here's um, Habakkuk, uh, chapter 1, verse 5. Look among the nations, observe well, and be utterly astounded. For a work is being wrought in your days, 
which you would not believe if it were told. So I think it comes from that. And, I mean, had the thing actually worked, this two million tonne floating island, yes, it would have been something you would have to see to believe. So I think that's where it comes from. And apparently Jeffrey Pike read constantly. So I'm sure he read Habakkuk. Habakkuk. Mm. I have to just find a way to say his name and settle with it. 